And this is very, very connected to what's happening right now. <laughs> that the sun is about to set and suddenly a deep sleep falls upon Avram, right? He's in the middle of doing the bris. He hasn't even walked, he doesn't walk through it. And then suddenly he falls asleep, right? He gets very tired. And obviously it's from God. And there's a frightening darkness falling upon him. And Rashi says that this darkness that fell upon him was the exiles. When Abraham felt and sensed the darkness that's going to fall upon all of his descendants. And it trembled him with fear and it made him fall, go into this deep, deep trembling and deep fear, seeing what we will go through, seeing the Holocaust we go through time and time again, the Spanish Inquisition, every Golas that we go through and seeing what would happen to his descendants made him, um, was a frightening darkness. And that, that those two words could describe what's happening now. Um, and what did Hashem say to Avram in this, in this moment? But Yomar Avram. You should know that your children will be strangers in the land that's not theirs. That's about to misrhyme the first. It says on that day, and that day Hashem made a bris with Avram, saying, to your descendants, I gave this land from the river of Egypt until um, the great river, the Euphrates River. Which the the like the knowledge that Avram Avinu saw what we're going through already and saw the darkness and that this this scary darkness but also that Hashem said that we're going to prevail should fill us with the greater picture to see that we've gone through this time and time again we've been persecuted over and over again and we've always come out with the other side and we've matter how great the nations and how small we were we've never been squashed and every single one of our oppressors over the years don't exist anymore right they've all come and gone great great nations way larger than us with armies much bigger than ours have come and gone but we've never gone away and the